All right, this is week two of school, and this is Savannah's lunch for Monday. She has some watermelon. I like to cut it into these sticks so she has something to hold on to when she's eating it. She doesn't need a fork or anything. Um, then I have this ham. I just cut it out into circles just because that's how she'll eat it, like a Lunchable. Then we have some goldfish crackers, a string cheese. It fits if you bend it a little bit and then some mini marshmallows for her little dessert. And this is lunch for Monday, and we'll show you um, what's left after school. All right, so Savannah just got home from school. This is what's left in her lunchbox. She ate all of her ham, all of her goldfish, all of her marshmallows, part of her string cheese, and she didn't eat any watermelon. Savannah, why didn't you eat your watermelon? <laughs> a little stinker all right so that is everything for monday and i'll show you her lunch for tomorrow next all right here's savannah's lunch for tuesday we have some scrambled eggs which she has no problem eating cold she doesn't really like things that are warm she thinks they're too hot so these are perfect for her then we have some blueberries we have a yogurt these were on sale at costco they're the um, yo kids organic squeezables in strawberry and then she has a couple mini pancakes so i we had pancakes for dinner the other night so these are just leftover pancakes and in here's a little bit of chocolate syrup she doesn't like regular syrup so just a little bit of chocolate syrup for her to dip her pancakes in and this is lunch for tuesday all right here's what's left from tuesday's lunch she ate all of her eggs and she ate her yogurt she ate a couple blueberries and no, none of her pancakes. So the pancakes were not a hit, but she did like the eggs. Okay, this is Savannah's lunch for Wednesday. She's having some chicken nuggets. I cooked them and then I cooled them and put them in her lunchbox and she's going to eat these cold, no problem. Um, but I did cook them first before I cooled them down. And then she also has some blueberries left over from yesterday, a slice of monster cheese. This is just cut into four squares, some yogurt covered raisins, and then some baby carrots and cucumbers. These cucumbers, um, I cut them in circles last time. This time I did sticks to see if that might get her to eat them better because she likes them, but she didn't eat them last time. So we'll see what happens. I do prepare her lunches the day before. So this is actually Tuesday when I'm filming this. I work until two in the morning, so I'm not about to be making lunches before I take her to school at eight in the morning. So um, I do prepare the lunches the day before and then she'll eat them um, the day of, obviously. So that helps me save time in the morning. I always pick out her clothes the night before and lay them out and I um, make her lunch the day before also. So this is her lunch for Wednesday and when she gets back from school, we'll show you um, what she ate. All right, this is what's left from Savannah's lunch. She had one and a half of her chicken nuggets. She ate her carrots. She had three of her squares of cheese. There's just one left, and she had some blueberries. So that is what Savannah ate from her lunch. She's going to finish it right now. All right, so this is going to be Savannah's lunch for Thursday. There are some goldfish crackers, some pepperoni slices. I just put them in this container to, like, separate them, a string cheese, some fruit snacks, some yogurt-covered raisins, and some carrot sticks. All right, this is what's left of Savannah's lunch. Sorry the clip before was so bad. I filmed it at like two in the morning, so it was super dark. But this is what's left from her lunch. She ate about half of her goldfish. She ate half of her pepperonis, her whole string cheese. She ate her um, fruit snacks and half of her yogurt raisins. And she didn't eat any of her carrots, but they look a little dry, so that might be why. But I'm going to just cook these instead and open up a new bag of fresh carrots for her for another lunch. So this is what's left from her lunch on Thursday. All right, guys, this is for the last day of the week. This lunch is for Friday, and Savannah is taking half of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, the trick for these not getting um, soggy is to put peanut butter on both sides of the bread and then put jelly so that the peanut butter seals the bread from getting soggy. So she's going to have half of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, some green apple. Again, I put it face down to avoid it being exposed to air and turning brown. Some mini marshmallows and some pretzels, and she'll have water to drink. Actually, I think I'm going to send her to school with a Capri Sun. I think I'll do it on Fridays. She'll take a juice box or a Capri Sun for a little treat. 
So I'll send a Capri Sun with her um, and then this for her lunch for Friday. She is allowed to have peanut butter. Some schools don't allow it, but nobody at her school is allergic to nuts. So right now they can allow peanut butter, but if anyone becomes allergic to nuts, then they'll take it away from the school um, to just help that child be safe. So right now she can have peanut butter at school. So this is her lunch for Friday. All right, this is what's left of Savannah's lunch on Friday. She ate all of her pretzels. She had some of her apple and um, no marshmallows. And she ate about half of her sandwich. So she will finish up her lunch today. Um, she usually eats only part of her lunch, but then when we get home, she finishes the rest of whatever is left over. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying these cool lunch videos, give them a thumbs up. So I'll keep doing them. I am thinking about doing a uh, lunch video for myself for what I take to work. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below. Bye guys. All right, so now I'm about to go to the dentist, but I just wanted to throw this into this video. So Savannah told me after I filmed that last segment um, of her school lunch that her teacher said she can't have the marshmallows because it has sugar. She said, no, mommy, I can't eat it. Marshmallows are sugar. And as a mom, this really frustrates me because... I should be able to make the decisions for her nutrition. She's not overweight. She's never had a cavity in her life. I think if I choose to give her a couple mini marshmallows as a treat in her lunch, that that's my decision to make as her parent. I may, it may not be popular opinion. Some parents I understand don't give their, their kids sugar, but if I choose to, then that's my decision, I feel like. So I wanna know what your guys' thoughts are. I did call the school and talk to the director and ask her if there's a list of what is not allowed and what is allowed for her lunch because savannah doesn't make her own lunch i make it and i feel bad that i put something in there and she has to look at it and not be allowed to eat it um i just think that that's not okay she gets excited um to see it and then she can't eat it and that just makes me feel bad because i put it in there for her to eat um i the director said she's going to look into it and that sometimes the teacher will tell them they have to eat their main entree or whatever before they're allowed to eat their treat. So since she didn't finish her sandwich, that might have been why she wasn't allowed to have her marshmallows, which is fine. I understand that. But I just want to know what the rules are and have it very clear and laid out to me so that I don't put Savannah under extra stress because I'm giving her things that she's not allowed to have. Um, and I don't want that disappointment for her. So um, if there are rules at your guys' school regarding nutrition, let me know what they are because I'm very curious. Um, this is the school that Savannah went or that Scarlett went to for preschool. It's a private preschool. Um, there's no lunches offered. It's just four really small classes, so there's not a lot of kids at this school. Um, but I just want to know like what your experiences are with this. Um, with Scarlett, we did have a couple um, issues with one of the teachers with the same thing. She wouldn't let her have fruit snacks, but at that point, Scarlett wouldn't eat like mostly everything and was severely underweight and that was one of the things she would eat so we still sent them and she wouldn't let her have it we ended up moving teachers and everything was fine and i still sent her with the fruit snacks so i mean i could just not pack her a treat and she can have it another time she doesn't need to have a treat at school but i just like packing that for her um so i don't really like that the school is telling me what i can feed my kid and not so let me know what you think and i will look forward to reading those comments so i'll see you next time